So Mike Gundy thinks that Oklahoma runs wishbone. We gotta talk about it after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up, time. You gotta help me with that, that corner sh <laughs> What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time today. We've gotta talk about Mike Gundy's take. But you're gonna get to see, you're gonna get to hear for yourself about how Oklahoma is running the wishbone in 2019. But first, I want to remind you, sign up for my newsletter. It's in a link in the description below. And if you do so between now and December 7th, you would get an opportunity to win the Hertz Lamp. Uh, it's pictured in, well, every video but this one because I kind of just kind of want to make a point with that. But if you sign up for it, you get these banger newsletters that I'm writing, which are columns, which are posts, which have jokes in them, analysis in them. And I'm having a really good time with them. And people have written back to say how much they enjoy them. And I hope you would join us all in the fun. Now, Mike Gundy decided that he wanted to take that time at the podium to do what I want all head coaches to do. I say, if you get a microphone in front of your face, ham out. Have a good time. Tell me a joke. Do it unorthodox. Do it your way. But by goodness sake, please, do not be boring. And Mike Gundy was anything but in his description here. Finish this before I went home. I'm give you. We got any history buffs in here? I'm gonna give you the, some. Of you, most of y'all are too young, but guys that have been around for a while, I'm gonna give you some numbers here and see if anybody can do this. Okay? I got a. I got a, uh, a prize if anybody can tell me what the answer is. Okay? And I know nobody knows it because I was the only one at 2:30 working. I'm gonna give you some numbers: 137, 143. 125, 171, 153, 105, and 140. Okay, now I'll give you the last one, 180. Okay, so you asked me about their offense. There was a guy that played at OU named Thomas Slott. He had 137 carries a season. There was a guy that played OU named J.C. Watts. He averaged 143 carries. A guy named Charles Thompson, he averaged 125 carries. A guy named Steve Davis averaged 171 carries. A guy named Jamel Holloway averaged 153 carries. A guy named Baker Mayfield averaged 105 carries. And a guy named Murray that averaged 140. Now, who, who averaged 100, who's got 180 rushes this year? They're a wishbone team, guys. They're just lined up in the spread. Okay? He's 449 of their offensive plays have been him, either throwing it or carrying it. The next closest guy on their team has 114. So take those numbers into account. Forever, we thought wishbone quarterbacks were the guys that carried the ball a lot. This guy's got 180 rushes. It's a one-man show. I mean, this is a triple option team, okay? And it's just disguised as the spread. You got to tackle him. You got to make plays on him. I mean, it's a one-man show. All right, there it is. The one and only Mike Gundy talking about, one, trying to do his best Blinken Riley imitation, and two, how Oklahoma runs the wishbone because Jalen Hurts has run the ball more often than, you know, other OU quarterbacks run during the wishbone era. Now, there's a lot of things to unpack here, but not the least of which is Mike Gundy trying to say that Oklahoma running the wishbone is something new. Now, Oklahoma doesn't run the wishbone. They run a version of triple option that is based on a lot of different, of, a lot of different principles that incorporate the same look. So when he said they just run out of spread, what you're essentially saying is that Oklahoma runs a version of what Gus Malzahn runs at Auburn, a version of what Clemson runs with Chad Morris there when he started and with Dabo Sweeney there now. What Arkansas ran when Chad Morris is head coach there, what SMU ran when Chad Morris is head coach there, what they run at the University of Texas, what they ran at Ohio State while Urban Meyer was still in charge. I mean, I can keep drawing this one out here, but power spread and the ideas, the principles behind the wishbone have not gone anywhere. As a matter of fact, the wishbone takes its stuff from the split veers. You know, I mean, we got this phrase from Remember the Titans. Just like Novocaine, just give it time, it always works. And here's the thing. 
with the wishbone, you got three principles because your attitude is to try to attack the defense in multiple areas at the same time. So you got your inside run, which is your dive game, right? You got your outside run, which is your QB keeper. And then you got your sweep or your pitch play, which is the pitch out to the running back. Now, in modern game, in the modern game, what that looks like is Jalen Hurts either handing the ball to a running back, keeping it himself, or throwing a little whip it option out to the wide receiver or the inside receiver, a little bubble screen. It's what we used to call the long handoff. Remember, Josh Heupel used to make a point of saying, that's just a long handoff play for us. And with Jalen Hurts, I think this is interesting because it's part and parcel of who he is. And Lincoln Riley has come to embrace that Jalen Hurts is going to be running the ball. It's part of his game. It's part of what he does well. And frankly, it's part of his game that he does Better than Baker and almost as well as Kyler. The difference between Kyler and Jalen is Kyler's faster than anybody else out there. And Jalen will, he'll hit you, but he'll also put the ball on the ground. To my my buddy Greg Emmel's point, fumbles were just a part of life during the wishbone era. And I was like, yeah, back when they were inventing the wheel. But I'm being a smart aleck. And I'm being a smart aleck because I love wishbone. You love wishbone. Barry Switzer love wishbone. This ain't the bone, but it's something like a triple option. And I'm down with a triple option. I love the triple option. I like spread. I was raised on spread. I was raised watching How Mummy's Air Raid. And I was raised watching Basketball on Grass or Texas Spread when it was run with Vince Young. Because you sent that jet motion and you were either handing the ball off to that dude in the jet motion. Or Vince was going to pull it and you got your speed option going the other way. Alright? And if you don't want to do that, you can pop it. You can pass it. With that little slant coming across that side or that side, depending on which formation is like. What I'm saying here is Mike Gundy thinks he's being a smart aleck and he's trying to, you know, poke the bear on this one. But saying that you just stopped Jalen Hurts is, well, frankly, ain't nobody been able to stop Jalen Hurts. Even when you've been able to stop Oklahoma, Kansas State, you ain't been able to stop Jalen Hurts. He's still averaging 300 yards passing and over 100 yards on the ground or just a little less than 100 yards on the ground. The man has 3,000 yards passing and over 1,000 yards rushing in 11 games. I mean... What else do you need to know except, yes, he's the offense. He's been the offense. Gary Patterson knew he was the offense. What makes you think that you're going to do anything different that's going to prove a point that nobody else has seen here, Gundy? Now, I want to also point out that Gundy took that opportunity to say that he was up at 2.30 watching film, and he was up at 2.30 working like none of us are staying up in the middle of the night working because that's just how we're wired. Yo, G- Gundy, if you were manic, <laughs> it's just part of what it is, man. Like, Sometimes I'm up at 3 in the morning just making videos. Y'all don't know when I make these videos unless I tell you. So, like, eh. Like, this is the same dude that told us that he took Ambien and couldn't fall asleep. Yeah, okay. You ever take Ambien before there, Mike? Anybody that's taken Ambien before don't really have a hard time getting knocked out. Got some bad nightmares. Got some bad dreams. You has you got a bad trip. But I don't have no problem getting knocked out there, Mike. So, eh, eh, eh. Anyway, point here is that I think... I know what he means, and we all know what he means. And he had a very colorful way of making this point. But they don't run Wishbone at Oklahoma. They run Pro Raid. They will run Pro Raid. It's always going to be Pro Raid. It's also always going to be engineered around what the quarterback does well. And what Jalen Hurts does better than he does anything else is run with the football in open space. And if you can take advantage of the extra man like most teams want to with their quarterbacks, you're going to. Lincoln Riley is no different. Just think about how Mike Gundy was throwing Taylor Cornelius' body into everything that was coming his way, get him beat up. Didn't care. Because that that 11th man matters because you're not always accounting for him if you play defense. Yeah. All right. Deuces.